1966, a pretty normal upbringing. At age 22 Cooper married his childhood sweetheart, Pat, they had two children. 1978, the same year as Cooper stated work on an oil refinery he won £90,000 and a £4,000 Austin Princess car on a newspaper spot the ball competition, life was good. Sunday 22 December 1985, Cooper killed brother and sister Richard and Helen Thomas. She was found in the house tied up with rope with a man's shirt around her head as a blindfold. Her brother was found in an outbuilding. Both had been shot in the head, then doused in petrol, the three-story manor house was then set alight. Firemen and police found the bodies once the fire was extinguished. The house, on Scuffston Manor at Stainton, near Milford Haven, Pembrokeshire, was part of a 600-acre farm site owned and managed by the siblings. Police originally suspected a burglary gone wrong, when the intruder was interrupted he killed the siblings. The case went cold and sat on the books for years. July 1989, Peter Dixon and his wife Gwenda Dixon were on holiday in Pembrokeshire, it was the last day of their camping holiday, they decided to have a last walk along the coat. Cooper lay in wait with a sawed-off shotgun. He forced them to walk down to a secluded cliff where he tied them up, he sexually assaulted Gwenda then stole bank cards and forced them to reveal pin numbers, he then shot them both at close range. Days after the shootings Cooper appeared on the TV quiz show Bullseye, he was also seen using the Dixon's stolen credit card, and an artist's impression was drawn up, police compared the two pictures, but at the time these was no other evidence. By the 1990s he was broke, having blown most of the winnings on horse racing bets. 1996, he attacked a group of teenagers, raping a 16-year-old girl and sexually assaulting her 15-year-old friend at gunpoint. 1996, he was arrested for 30 burglaries and a violent armed robbery, holding up a terrified teacher with a shotgun in her home at Sardis, Pembrokeshire. 1998, he was convicted of the 30 burglaries and jailed for 16 years. 2006, police were conducting a cold case review, as a consequence DNA was discovered on a pair of shorts belonging to Cooper, DNA that belonged to murdered Peter Dixon. Mr. Dixon's blood was also discovered on Cooper's shotgun. May 2009, Cooper was arrested and charged with four murders, five counts of attempted armed robbery, as well as charges for sexual assault and rape. The 26th of May 2011, Copper was found guilty on all charges, he was ordered by the judge to serve a whole life term. This puts him on the home office list of prisoners never to be released, see list here. 2012, an appeal against his conviction was thrown out. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.